Hi guys, Carla here to talk to you about our Yipo Carmeris product add-ons and extra options plugin. You know that with this plugin you can create different options, add them to your products pages and have them be free or paid. Well, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this select add-on. With this one your customers will be able to select options from a drop-down menu. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be adding three options to this product, the disposable face mask. I'm going to be adding the option to have a 10 pieces pack, another option for a 50 pieces pack, and a third option for a 200 pieces pack, okay? So let's go to the dashboard, get product add-ons, and let's add a block. I'm going to name this vlog face masks. I'm adding the priority level one to this just in case. Add options. So we're going to choose the select add-on. And let's put a name to it. Going to name it, choose a pack size. So, first label, I'm going to add the 10 pieces pack, label 10 pieces pack, I'm going to add the image, upload, and here's the one I'm going to add, I have three options, I have my image for the 10 pieces pack, another one for the 50 pieces pack, and another one for the 200 pieces pack. For this option, I'm going to choose this one, choose image. I am not going to change the price by selecting this pack, so I'm not going to change this. Add new option. This one is going to be the 50 pieces pack. Add image, upload, 50 pieces, choose. And for this one, I am going to change the price when selected. I'm going to increase the main product price by 20 euros. And add a new option, 200 pieces back, add image, increase and I'm going to increase 50 euros if this option is selected save save again and I'm going to head over to rules and this is going to be applied to a specific product which is going to be the disposable face masks. I'm going to show these options to all users. Save. Now let's go back to the site and let's refresh. So now I have my drop down menu. This is the title, choose the pack size. And if I expand, I have the three options. 10 pieces back, I am not changing the base price of the product when I select this option. Then I have the 50 pieces back. If I choose this, I'm going to be adding 20 euros to the price and a 200 pieces back. By selecting that one, I'm going to be adding 50 euros to the base price of the product. I'm not sure if you've noticed but right now I have the 200 pieces back selected, but the image hasn't changed. This is because we haven't finished setting up these images. Now we have to go back to the dashboard, select this add-on again, 
and now you have to select the display settings tab right now I have this option this is selected by default okay I have the option not to replace the image of the product when I select any of the options in my drop down menu but I have changed the images so I want to show them when you choose each option so let's replace with option images save save again and back to my site refresh now if I choose the 50 pieces pack I have the image for the 50 pieces pack the one that I assigned when creating the options and if I choose the 200 pieces pack I have the image that I assigned to that option if I add to cart view cart not only do I see the option that I selected the 200 pieces pack and the additional 50 euros it cost but I also see the image that I assigned to that option the 200 pieces face masks maybe it's a bit small for you to notice but it says 200 pieces if we go back to the dashboard to general settings card and order this is the option that allows us to see the image that has been assigned to that add-on in the card page show the replacement image in the card if we change this to no save options back to the site refresh the image changed from the 200 pieces image to the 10 pieces image which isn't just for the 10 pieces option it was actually the original image for this product so there you go that's how you can create a drop down menu with options add different prices to those options assign specific images to each option and display those images both in the product page and in the card page okay guys so that was it for our video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video